All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back to my whole banger recap marathon. So we're gonna check out another Zephyr recap. This is recap for Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse, and this one's called "How the Spot Became a Real Ninja." That's a that, that's a clever um tie right there, real ninja. I get that. So, but yeah, um, going back to this Cross Spider-Verse, you know, I've seen Cross Spider-Verse um when it first came out. Above it, I have it on Blu-ray, by the way, and. I watched it on Blu-ray when I first got in it, and it is still one of my favorite movies of 2023 for sure, and really of all time, honestly. And it makes me more excited for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Like, come on, Sony. Give us that Beyond the Spider-Verse news, for Christ's sake. So, yeah, um, the Spot was a really good villain. J.J. Swanson did a great job voicing the character, man. And it's like, man, all this stuff is going to go down. What went down at the end of the Cross Spider-Verse, absolutely nuts. I mean, it went absolutely dark. So, I'm very excited to see Cross Spider-Verse. Recap right here and now from Seth Fire. So Hot Squad, for ado, let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So originally I was not going to repost this, but after talking <coughs> to some YouTubers bigger than me, it's actually bad for the channel if hmm. I leave this up. So I'm gonna have to take the L and re-upload this drama. Hmm. I censored some parts of the video and changed some music, but if you really want to watch the OG, it's in the description. My apologies hmm. on this for real. This is the second time YouTube been sniping me. I gotta move Damn. a little bit more tech. I'll make sure to come back a lot cleaner and a lot harder from this point forward. Enjoy the video though. Oh man, Zep, another, another Spider-Verse video? Yeah. This is great, but I have to ask, where did you get all the fush? <laughs> Don't ask questions. I'm oh, by the way, I think earlier this year, I've actually did his last one, his, um, how Miles swipe swipe the, um, the Spy Squad, I think it's the, um, so spy, um, Spy Society is called. Go watch that as well. It's one's best. Starting this whole from moment zero, zero. Why is this movie starting with this manipulative snow bunny? Where is my black <laughs> Damn. <laughs> manipulative snow bunny is crazy, man. <laughs> There he is. So not only was the animators hooking in the studio, someone on the OST was going crazy because there's no way you pick Rakeem for this soundtrack, bro. Mm -hmm. You are him. But you yeah. really got to wait 20 minutes in the movie before you see Miles one time. I get it, but I feel like that's kind of crazy. They move in just like Smash Bros. I bought Smash Bros thinking I was going to get all these characters. I start off with this 1987 really ass roster. And I got to play like 90 matches to get everyone else. Think I'm throwing yeah. my Switch in the trash. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I actually have Smash Bros. Ultimate 2 to continue as well. Yeah, and before we even get to Miles, we gotta cut to his parents. And his fine ass mom out here talking about some, I know he's a sophomore, but I wanna get ahead of the college conversation. <laughs> this nigga is 15, and you already talking about college? Right? Like, why do you think he not listening to y'all? What are you doing? I could give a whole segment on this parenting alone, but y'all see Miles' mom, bro. I would dislike the video myself <laughs> if I disrespected her even for a second. Because the way she was moving in this movie dog i don't know how this cloudy with a chance of meatball scott pulled this latina <laughs> mommy with her arroz con polo booty i'm telling you this is duke dennis when he hit 60 years old then here we oh by the way um the directors of college and meatballs fellow chris Romero, they actually wrote the movie across uh, survivors and produced this and of course produced the last one into spider verse i think they wrote it too as well fellow chris miller are such talented Filmmakers, man, so talented. See the spots, and you could already tell his real nigga DLC pack isn't even a quarter of the way installed because what is this outfit? That is violation number one. Number two, who tried to steal money from a Jamaican man? Them spots must have also made you lose brain cells. He pulled up in the coldest way possible too. He was heating his grub with no bev, and he asked, "Who are you even supposed to be?" And then the spot is this. Spot. I wouldn't even call you a villain of the week, let alone a villain of the day. You are trash. Now, you should know, not just in animation, but in anything in general, if a nigga's gonna hit a pose, he is going to violate you. Now, tell me one person that is gonna see this Gal dot ass pose and get even the slightest goosebump. Nobody. This nigga's built like a 1940s golfer. And not only that, he's trying to push his villain monologue so bad just to get interrupted. Because, my dog, we do not care. I do not want to learn a single thing about your 101 Dalmatians ass. I need you locked in a cell. And this next scene kind of funny. Oh, it's muted, of course. Copyrighted. Understandable, but yeah. The spot, it, it, it's, 
He gets more serious in the um, later in the movie. He gets more serious though. Mm. Maybe I just want to see this movie again. I swear, man. I swear. Beyond Spider Verse need to come on, man. I was talking over this, you know, just to get audio back. And we get right back to the fight, and I'm not gonna lie, this ain't even something I can commentate over. I'm literally falling asleep watching this. That's how disgraceful it is watching this nigga on the screen. Look at these strikes he's throwing, and you're calling yourself the main nemesis? He fighting just like Dead. Hey, y'all, comedy shorts game of here. Face ass. I'm sick and tired of these villains having powers for less than a day and thinking they can scrap with Spider Man. This man, Harry Osborne, immediately tried to run the ones with Peter yes. Parker. The most moment he got the goblin serum and he's the only spider-man villain to get a concussion oh, like nah you think spider-man's a free lick like <laughs> i'm watching this movie absolutely livid because there's no reason why ddg is the first villain i'm seeing <laughs> straight doodle -doo garbage <laughs> and the spot really says oh, so you could turn off your phone in a movie theater but you can't turn it off fighting me i would watch all of 50 shades of gray front to back five times over before i ever try to see you box my grandma fight better than you the only cold thing this man did was this little pump fake right here. Other than that, I'm not giving you a single point on this entire fight. Like, after seeing you, Box, I want you gone. And I don't want you to ever say the word villain again. If I even see you next to the word villain. And right after Miles packs him, he says this. Bro. What do Damn. you mean by that? Damn. He's 15! <laughs> Not only are you horrible at boxing, nigga, you Jeffrey Epson? I'm about to end this video early. This man is way worse than I thought. You really think I'm gonna take my wife to see this Bill Cosby freak show as a main villain? Fuck no babies. That bro had me on my knees in the middle of the theater, oh God. praying to the Most High that when I look mm. back up, this trash can is no longer on my screen. I look up after 30 oh seconds, and okay. why is he back? I swear he that one germ that them Kleenexes just cannot kill to save mm. their lives. The spot spins the block and even Miles' dad is there and then we get this frame right here. This was a little too random for me. I think y'all know what time it is. <laughs> what if when Miles' dad went through that portal he saw the future just like Miles mm. and then he gets a very similar death to Aunt May where on his deathbed he tells Miles to reveal himself. I don't know guys. I think that's kind of fire. Nah. <laughs> but Spot shoots at Miles one time. By the way, I won't spoil it for y'all. Trust me, I won't. I won't spoil it for y'all. Man, he starts cranking nineties in this hole like it's Fortnite, and the Spot gets trapped, and he ends up finally being able to get his weak ass monologue. Talking about some, you hit me with a bagel. If that was me, yes. I would have hit you with a Molotov. <laughs> get this absolute piece of airspace off my screen. Yes. And the Spot starts raging like a twelve year old on the game, and he ends up slipping, missing a wide open layup like he. Could. I see this and I get a sigh of relief because we're finally done with this absolute garbage pile of a villain. Whew. Now we can actually get to the good stuff. Because this man, the spot, was in his own reality listening to Nick Ed 30 talking about something. Never back it down. And then he comes out of there and he's like, yes, my hoes, they're so loose. Hey, stop talking about your hoes, you <laughs> freaky ass nigga. And also, man, don't ever show a booty shot of the spot again. If you want to show some ass, Lila, shake it. So the spot's up in Mubatan, I think. And then look at him Risen! I, I ain't know the spot was a man of culture. After seeing this, I know damn well his real nigga DLC pack was at least 75% installed. <laughs> He's out here talking with no stuttering because I know a lot of you niggas would be in that same situation just like this. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Look at who stops my boy from eating. Yes, yeah. it is exactly who you think it is. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were so angry that I was disrespecting Gwen in the last video. Like, I'm sorry, but what has she genuinely done for me to give her even an ounce of respect? Because she out here cucking the spot, she out here cucking miles. But she can pull up to Hobie's crib every other day and cook him unseasoned chicken, right? I don't give a damn about her, man. She don't deserve shit. And to nah. make the odds even worse, she out here manipulating my boy Miles the entire movie. Uh. I'm supposed to give this nobody respect? Really? You see how pretty privilege be ruining the youth out here, bro? 
You can be a literal war criminal and you will have niggas be like, oh, well, she got a fat ass, so in my hood, she's clear. <laughs> and Gwen gets domed in the face, oh, and I God. was cheesing after seeing that. And Miles puts the cape on, always trying to be Mr. Save a Ho. Dives yeah. in to save her, and then the goat pulls up. Yeah. Spam Indy. Oh, my boy Pop is really him. I was looking at his montage. I was like, bro, this nigga wanna be me so bad. Yes. The perfect hair, the 10 out of 10 girl, the outstanding academics, and the fact that Sony didn't give me royalties for this movie. Look at yes. how they doing your boy, man. All three yes. of them pull up on the spot just like this. They really think it. They about to cook up. And Miles heads in first. He's out here talking about some. I got it. He dives in and goes straight for a kick. Gets deflected faster than a girl best friend cock. Block. They run at him again and then look at the spots. Did I not tell y'all earlier? Once you see someone hit a pose, it's over. Yeah. He's hitting this on y'all. Once I saw this, he already won. And you could tell he was having fun violating because look at what he pulls right here. It falling straight down and then he gets Miles and Gwen. And missile launches these niggas face first into buildings. And once I saw that, I put my hands up and said it was over. The spot really changed his pronouns to I'm him. Because the way the spot yeah. does Miles is actually egregious. Because Miles was hitting some chase down on the spot, and the spot must have been playing Portal because it completely Fight. changed the gravity on Miles. Have my boy on the floor, but he gets right back up and tackles the spot. The spot starts dashing all around Miles, and bro can't even keep up. I ain't ever seen a nigga's <laughs> neck break this much since shadow boxing. With Miles' neck all discombobulated, spot grabs his head and slams him right into a pole. Miles tries to cop the plea and run only for the spot to Fight. grab him, kick him into a wall. Man. This nigga mm. in the dome Choke him by the neck And slam him through Multiple buildings mm. And this hoe was so fast I had to rewatch it At least three times <laughs> Cause within this last wall crash The spot instantly disappears mm. Only to grab Miles' face again mm. I was watching this like Huh? I ain't never seen a nigga move so fast And Miles doesn't even get the time to retaliate Because he immediately gets slammed oh. right into a sign And once that happened He was just like I ain't gonna lie I'm <laughs> <laughs> and after watching this five star performance, how does the spot explain this? I just need more holes. You disgusting freak. I know you're gonna love your prison cell. Talk about some where the bros at. I'm trying to bend. <laughs> The spot goes right into Alchemex, and he's out there talking about something. Give me what I want! Huh? And he goes in there with little to no effort. He puts a barrier, and Miles, thinking that he's him, tries to break the barrier with his powers. And he's standing there just putting his hands on it, and I'm like... This... Ain't working. Mm. <laughs> you are not him whatsoever, my boy. And then the go yeah, pulls Obi. up! spider -Pong. Alright guys, hold on, right, check, me check, me check me out, check me out, check me out. Hobie. Oh, yes. All you niggas commented that I said his name wrong. Where you at, nigga? I posted. Some of y'all are really like, oh, he said his name in the movie. You still said it wrong? Um, maybe if I was able to hear him, nigga. Because whoever mixed this needs to get fired. I don't know what SoundCloud mic y'all gave to these actors, but I could not hear him at all in the theater. But the spot is still doing these niggas absolutely vile. Look at how he does pop right here. <laughs> He straight did you like a hoe. That's tough. He did Gwen even worse because she got assists from Hobie and still got hoe. And it's to the point where he's out here choking Miles like, oh, nah. And Hobie too? Nah, I thought you was the GOAT. Now, I know y'all probably do not accept Hobie slander, but this is behavior I can't even let slide. This. Because my brother in Christ, <laughs> what is this? My dog went straight for his palm. Did you want to get choked? So he sends Miles to the floor and like any normal anime villain, he sends a sidekick <laughs> all the way to the sidelines. Then the spot goes to complete his DLC pack. Yeah. All the Spider-Man tried to stop him, but you cannot stop the motion when it starts. He gets in there and he becomes a 100% Nigga, he started yeah. talking to Miles just like this. So, Spider Man, you asked me who was in Paris. I'm gonna say it. No. <laughs> but now the spot becomes the absolute goat. I'm about to play this TikTok edit real quick because this gotta be the coldest thing I've done ever seen on that goddamn app. Oh, yeah, I remember this one, yeah. You took everything from me. Oh, yeah, you took everything from me. <laughs> See that home. Oh, I'm off the grave. Is me 
game Ooh. gave Miles. That was a that was a clean TikTok edit, man. I remember seeing that. PTSD and all, and I'm watching this, and I'm like, this is the greatest glow up I done ever seen. He really lived out just like you TikTok niggas. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I know he's gonna be posting this glow just like a lot of y'all TikTok heads. We having new audios for the same glow up trend every month. We get it. Y'all are sexy. I be on TikTok and now look into the mirror and I'm like, oh no. Yes. And then the spot takes his leave back to the trap. Just know when he come back, he coming back with a vengeance. And then all you see is Paz racist ass just yes. like this. I do not associate. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oh wow, that's a way to end it, man. That's a freaking, freaking way to end the recap. Bring the end this, man. God damn, <laughs> this was great. This is freaking great. I can't believe I actually missed this one. That's crazy. I miss. I freaking missed this. Um, missed this breakdown, man. That's crazy. But overall, W recap is that fire. <laughs> this was hilarious. <laughs> My God. But yeah, man. Spot we absolutely got more crazier. By that point, man, I'm like, he, he got some, he went some real serious stuff, man. He was like, shoot, you mess with my life, I'm gonna mess with yours, Miles. I'm like, God damn, man. Whew. Really made some more stuff for Beyond Spider Verse, man. I really hope it comes out. Most likely, I got a feeling it might come out next year. I got, it gotta come out next year, right? It gotta come out next year. I hope it does. But anywho, <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, W recap, Zephyr. Keep out the great with these, man. Keep out the great freaking work. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Zephyr's recap of Spider Cross Spider Verse. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit that button, kind of share your thoughts. How many times you seen Cross Spider Verse? And are you very excited for Cross Spider Verse? I know you are. And, um, yeah. Overall, W recap, Zephyr. Keep up the great work. So, Hot Squad, I have one more recap for y'all today. And that is my last Zephyr recap. And this is his. Cobra Kai recap, which I'm very excited to see, and I know which one it is. It's the school fight. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.